So, I thought I'd share this oh so special moment with you as an advice to never get pregnant. Never. Oh, I am in so much pain right now. I'm pregnant. Blog to follow. Maybe I pee on it too much. My belly. Not yours. And eventually, this will be how I talk in my blogs. Eventually, it'll be all like this. Just like there's no manual on how to respond to the ridiculous comments we get. Oh, this is gross! A jail filled with pregnant women? Scary thought. Pregnancy is intense. And there's no one comfortable position. You just, you gotta figure something out. Like right now, if I could go through the day like this, this is a comfortable position. This is working. But I can't, because I gotta go get baby proofing material. Two of my recently mothered friends, as in they were pregnant up until like a couple months ago, asked me, you know, how's this and how's that? And and uh, then they said, oh, that's my sister. They said, I'm, oh, I miss being pregnant. And I said, you're crazy. I look foolish. And you are on, whoops, on camera. So the pain is starting to go away. Child's pose, well, a variation of child's pose as my butt is definitely up in the air and you're supposed to be all down and my belly's too big to do that. So my friends who only recently stopped being pregnant were telling me how they miss being pregnant. And I was like, are you crazy? Just, they were listing all these wonderful things about being pregnant. But yeah, they can be enjoyable. Even the Braxton Hicks at the right moment can be kind of cool. <laughs> Just not the painful ones. They suck. As you know, I didn't do Silly Survey Sunday, this last one. Um, that's because I spent the entire day prior purging my body of any food I put in it. Why? Because of a, an, an intensely painful knot in my side that kept me up all night until my stomach said, well, I've had enough of that. And then, and then, you can't just be pre you can't just be sick, you're pregnant and sick, which, which means, you know when you lay down after being sick, your stomach's still a little unsettled, but you know if you get yourself to sleep, you'll sleep through it, the stomach will resolve its own issues, and you'll wake up feeling a little bit groggy, a little bit weak, but you're not going to be sick again. Thing is, when you got a squirmy worm inside you, squirmy worm is a type of parasite, I've decided, and that's what I have. I, I don't have a a baby, I have a squirmy worm. It's it's a parasite. A squirmy worm will squirm around at random points and, you know, I've learned to sleep through the squirming. Like, she's not, thank God, knock on wood, she's not a violent kicker or puncher. She's just a squirmer. So I can deal with that. It's, uh, it's a little weird, but um, yeah, the only thing is when she squirms around, she's squishing, like, your lungs, all your, just all your organs, your stomach, everything is just, like, cramped into this little bitty space under your chest <laughs> and so when your stomach's upset and it has this squirmy worm like rolling it around and kicking it like a little play thing that makes for a very interesting moment of I need to puke now it was about every half hour to an hour that I had to get back up I went from 11.30 at night to 8.30 in the morning and then I finally got to sleep after that because there was nothing left in my stomach for her to kick Went to sleep for about three or four hours with, of course, pee break interruptions. I only had liquid for food that day and the next day, and it wasn't until the day after that that I finally had food again. And even then I was still a bit queasy. So, yeah, I've decided I'm going to have to make more vlogs to remind myself that I didn't enjoy being pregnant. I, I spent a lot of it either in pain, bedridden, getting ridiculous amounts of needles because of thyroid problems and oh and blacking out in the doctor's office but that was fun i never did get to tell you guys about that um, oh my back is feeling so much better today we'll call it doggy style pose i know i want a second kid and i'll probably get pregnant again i just don't want to you know miss being pregnant because it's not that fun i think i'm 33 weeks now 
I'll be 34 weeks on Wednesday, okay? There were maybe three or four weeks of this pregnancy that I, and they were just recently, that I went, oh, this isn't so bad, now I'm just bored. And then they went away. Now I can't, I can't sit for more than 10 to 20 minutes because I have no torso. So she cramps up against my ribs and pinches nerves in my spine, causing me to have these intense, like, knots up and down my, my rib cage and my back. She's not kicking it. She's just pinching nerves, and it's just, it's incredibly painful. So I have to stand all day, which, as you can imagine, isn't that much more comfortable. I miss being able to climb up a set of stairs without being short of breath because my lungs are the size of, like, peas. I just, I, I miss not being pregnant. And if you're one of those women that are like, they hate their body, they, that, that's one good thing about pregnancy. You realize that your body wasn't so bad before. And now you'll never get it back. Just, don't, just think of all the horrible things. Research what happens when you're pregnant. And then you'll like your body a little better. I mean, I love this child, don't get me wrong. I'm really excited to have her. And... She will be an only child for at least two years, if not three, um, because we plan on having our wedding first. <laughs> that was the uh, that's the idea. We wanted her to be in our wedding, so we're waiting until she's old enough to walk us down the aisle as our little flower girl. So I'm not against being pregnant. I just don't want to be holding my three-month-old and go, I miss being pregnant because... <sighs> I am so done with being pregnant. This has been a B-Wings production.